Welcome to the other side of the series, which is the grinding aspect. You guys are gonna see me trying to shoot nine holes and break par. Um, but also I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of me practicing on the range and trying to get better. And hopefully that'll help you guys out too. Right now, I got my stick down, um, my balls, and hitting some eight irons. My greens and regulations are absolutely trash. You can see the stats on the screen here, but I'm not hitting enough greens to be able to, you know, break par or even shoot bogey free consistently, which is where I wanna be. So right now I'm kinda hashing some things out in my swing being a bit more technical. So long story short, I'm suffering with a really big pull to the left and it's very unpredictable and it goes extremely far and over the green left which leaves me in terrible spots to get up and down so what i'm focusing on is as soon as my front arm here gets straight to the ground i'm thinking I'm, this club is pretty straight up and down which is helping me get more of a hinge here and i'm almost stopping my backswing here for right now and what i'm doing is i'm getting to this position here and telling myself okay i'm gonna try to hit a fade from here which is preventing me from this front shoulder pulling out like this and coming straight across it's going left and it's not stopping going left um, pretty much what this is doing is getting me in a good position here i'm saying okay hit a fade so my arms are dropping a little bit more to the inside here therefore my shoulder staying square for longer and i'm hopefully in a better impact position and then overall as you guys know just a smooth tempo the big thing here, practice with an alignment stick. Don't dump all your balls out. I just got an eight iron. Let's hit some balls. Show you what I'm working on exactly. So we get here, parallel, almost pause a little bit. Little fade. And that's on a rope. And honestly, I'm, I'm not really swinging that hard right now. And I'm trying not to swing as hard as I usually do. Anyway, we're getting away from that. Let's get here, vertical, fade. It's just on a rope. I think that's what I gotta think of. I got so many thoughts, paralysis by analysis in my head right now. Um, but if you want you know, a structured plan, I do will have a six week practice plan. Go check that out in the description. But you know, I'm gonna show you guys the highs and lows. Like we're gonna shoot bogey free together. That's the whole goal. Let's hit a couple more here, eight irons. Nice and smooth. And then that's a shank. I could just tell that's really quick and not ideal. Come on now, let's get closer, more vertical. That's kind of the miss right there. You can almost see it, my front heel almost spins out. Everything is so far left, I'm overly rotated, flipping the hands, all that nonsense. That's what we're getting away from. We're quieting the lower body, quieting everything, more controlled, more connected. That's the goal. Yeah, that's a bit better. Still maybe a little heavy, but not the end of the world. So one more eight iron here, then we'll go to like a six or something longer. Making sure my shoulders and everything are aligned. Oh my God, that's not good. So fat. That's just throwing my hands at it, not even caring. Whew. It's also boiling here, so forgive me for breathing hard. Something like that. Way more committed. All right, let's grab a six iron. See where we're at with that guy. Reminder to subscribe, helps me out a lot, so. And stay hydrated. Okay, we got a six iron here. Let's try some more, same target, same feelings. Check the fundamentals. Yeah. I think that feeling of just, okay, I'm gonna hit a little fade is gonna really help me out. Cause I naturally kind of draw it with my irons, but it's like the over-exaggeration thing. I'm telling myself to hit a fade but it's really not fading, it's just going dead straight. So whatever I'm doing, like mechanically, it's kind of figuring itself out. That's the one we don't want. Not a good swing. Even that one, 
a bit quick, but doable because it's straight. Let's commit to one now. Two rehearsal here, nice and vertical. Just get down in front of it like that. Ah, just the overcooked one. <sighs> just need to get out of that habit. Everything's pulling left. I'm almost gonna feel like it's going right a little bit. There we go. I'm okay if it bleeds right a little bit and loses a bit distance. I hit it plenty far, so that just might be something I need to adjust to. But if it's gonna be more consistent, I'm all for it. That's a bit flippy. Mm, pulled. There we go. That's the money shot right there. If we can figure that out, I think we'll be good. Whew, I'm out of breath. I'm drenched in sweat. But I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the other half of this. Make sure to subscribe. See you guys out here real soon.